So I understand some of these are a bit late. Don't really care. Have a life. That's the best part. So I have an excuse not to watch much wrestling. Let's go. <laughs> Other than that, uh, there's been a couple of reports. Of course, uh, Ric Flair went to Mexico for Andrade. And, of course, Jungle Boy, that little child, coming around saying that he has an issue speaking in the mic. Out of this entire little AEW safe space, somehow a professional wrestler is uncomfortable with a microphone. That's like one of the primitive rules of being a wrestler. You gotta wrestle and you gotta speak. You gotta show that you have a personality. You gotta show that you have a bit of charisma. You gotta show that you have uh, something that comes out of the box other than you doing flippy horseshit cruiserweight moves with no extent except your except your flowy flowing hair looking like an 18 year old child that skipped that forgot the puberty phase. That's what Jungle Boy looks like. Don't know why this is even a struggle for something that you should be trained for over your tenure, especially with a fan base that supports you assholes, even though I feel like most of you guys are overprivileged, bitter WWE trash heap that can't even get yourselves over with your own ignorant fan base. I find that stupid. I, I find that completely, like, uncontrived, like y'all are missing something, and whatever some non-AEW fan gives you guys a semblance, a semblance of constructive criticism, it just ends up with you threatening that we're racist, or, 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 or you know, sexist, or ignorant, or, or we're just a hater, I even hate that fucking phrase, I hate being called anti-smart, I hate being called, like, I, I don't take it a semblance of seriousness as probably most other fans do, because I am a fan. I wouldn't have any interest talking about this on my channel if I wasn't watching this for a long time, and I don't have my own opinion on the matter, or else I'm just jabbering on horseshit, just randomly jungling around and just cussing for half of the video. But I don't, because I actually, I actually, you know like wrestling and I want it to succeed. I don't want it to end the relevant because of AEW and that's possibly gonna happen. But bro, when you're a twenty five year old guy, the sky's the limit. Jack Perry is a freaking jobber. Whining little Marco stunt if he took a Mario mushroom. And he's whining over having issues to talk. I don't. I don't get this. I. I, I don't get it. First was the whole girlfriend controversy with Kenny Omega being gay, and I'm okay with that. But having issues to speak over in the mic. I, like that should be, like even if you're not good at it. That should be what you should be comfortable doing. You have no option. You have, like, the AEW in the bare minimum, before the whole Jack uh, Max Caster garbage, that was like, you have the primitive creative freedom to say whatever you need to say, whether it's a shoot or work, even though primarily most work shoot promos are works anyway, so it doesn't really matter. But just coming over, like, how bad it is, like, how these, how these AEW guys actually deal with certain, with certain personal problems, we know that most of these are just glorified indie guys that don't have to talk, don't have to, don't have to actually move over more than just a regular fan base, or try to move actual outside fans, uh, not interesting to evolve their character organically, and not willing to actually expand their brand outside of their own uh, company fan base, so they're not trying to be big or as bigger or, or as bigger as AEW to actually draw people to watch the show. That's what Jungle Boy is telling me. And everybody says that Jack Perry has the better things going for, uh, you know, the Jurassic Express. When he doesn't really talk, he does nearly the same indie moves as anybody else on the roster. And he really doesn't stand out with his own character. Thinks he's just a regular 24-year-old midget 
that never acts like a Neanderthalic jungle kid. Why call himself that? Why call a grown man a boy, by the way? Who calls himself a jungle boy? The whole character sucks, and he just dug himself a more bigger grave because of it. And you're telling me Jungle Boy is better than Luchasaurus? Uh, like, what I'm at least aware of is at least a guy can, like, eloquently talk. He's big, and he can do fast-paced maneuvers for a guy his size. I can make a star out of that if you didn't make the whole Luchasaurus gimmick completely shit and completely comedic. If that wasn't the case, uh, that guy would be a second tall monster on AEW next to Lance Archer. Literally, I'm just writing this up for you guys because AEW is digging themselves like completely graves whenever we reveal that most of these AEW guys are just completely comfortable with staying in their own indie box. And the more that they don't know that they're in big time, and if they're trying to actually, uh, Try to be uh, anti, you know, anti mainstream, even though you're technically in a mainstream progress of trying to ex like make your brand bigger. Like, who doesn't want their TV? Who doesn't want their wrestling show on major TV? And they already screwed it over going on TBS, man. Like AEW, oh man, just, just this is why I still stand by that they're gonna die in half a decade. It's been only two years, and they already moved over from. Turner, from Turner's big broadcasting network, where they put primetime hockey now and primetime basketball, big time and big time TV shows, where you'll be able to watch. What like what? Only autistic fat children watch American Dad on and Chad on reruns. No one's watching TBS. I swear to you that. And, and, and now, they're over to this extent that Jack Perry doesn't even want to get out of his own comfort zone. Bro, he needs a, they need training facilities, man. They have so many veterans, and yet nobody wants to teach. This is, this is just, this is just annoying. This is just annoying. Like, if you guys haven't seen his promos with Christian Cage, with Chris Jericho... Jungle Boy vomits charisma. He doesn't ooze it out. He's not a vacuum. He's not a charisma vacuum. He vomits it out because he knows he doesn't need it or something. It sucks. He doesn't need physical charisma because he's built like a 13-year-old. Carrot top. Asshole child looking ass. And he comes around uh, just, uh, just never trying to evolve his game. You're 24 years old in pro wrestling. There's nothing... There's nothing left to go but up in your career. You have you have all the learning curves, all the legends, all the all the w ex WWE guys that you know that you know Big Show, Christian Cage. We're at a time period where most of this shit was not as niche. It was as big to talk in pop culture than than actual sports films and other stuff, even anime. So, don't know why, why certain, why people like him have an issue with promos. And just a, a mitigated god to hear that, imagine you get rewarded for being over. Brian, no, I forgot who said that. Brian Alvarez said that. Don't Dave Meltzer do a stupid poll about getting rewarded for a dumbass match that nobody's going to remember outside of his own? He's, oh, I saw that Takeshi match just last week, man. Match of the year, in my opinion. Who the fuck are these two Japanese people are you talking to? Like, honestly. And, and just knowing, like, this is the type of uh, gatekeeping, niche, weirdo, Premier League critiquing of professional wrestling that I'm getting nowadays. We know we're just watching... Uh, like a fake ass action show that any person above five can watch. These guys want to treat it like a goddamn sport for every show, even if it's crash, like car crash. And and just knowing if you guys watch Brian Brian and Vinny or Dave Meltzer reviews, they go over they go over a segment in a show like they're reading your homework. These guys are just cracks of charisma spitting out. 
and going into a vac and going into a dustpan and into the trash. Awful. Just oh Jesus. Shows you how dull just talking about this is. Other than that, this is coming up for me. Uh jeez. I'll have the raw review come out late. And of course we'll have Rampage. I have a lot of stuff to go for before I'm back to work. But that will be in a matter of time. And uh thanks for watching.